Hi. Thank you for watching my video. I am uploading my videos to share with you what impressed me on astrophotography activities. I got the new version of Raspberry Pi. Version 5 a while ago. So make this video to show you how I set up my original case for future astrophotography activities. It says the new dedicated chip is designed specifically for version 5. I am curious about how fast it can operate compared to version 4. This time they offer a cooling fan option. I got a set with the fan unit because I like to try the full speed of the pixel operation. It is designed to fit the three chips to cool down. The fan unit has two fixing pins with the springs. The board has the power connector to the fan on it. It is quite small and not easy to insert after the fan unit is fixed on the board beforehand. It might have been better to insert the connector first. It is time to test the operating system. I set up the micro SD card with the latest stable version of the Raspberry OS. The power supply I had was this 3 amps AC adapter. Let's see it works. It doesn't start. Ouch! The HDMI cable is not connected. The video cable is unstable. I think the full HDMI to micro HDMI conversion should be replaced later. Looks like it works fine. I got this 2K monitor for version 5. I would like to use it as a desktop PC. I connect this Bluetooth keyboard. Wow! They fit perfectly together. Next. It is time to make the dedicated original case for version 5. It is my enjoyable time making such things. This plastic case fit perfectly. I got this in a dollar store. It is a trading card holder. I don't have any of those cards though. And this case is also a trading card holder. I really like this case because it is just like those of C cassette tapes in the last century. It sits on the desk when it is open. How cool it is! First I take this smoky case as an inner case. I need holes for the interfaces. I am not an exact person so I mark the hole I want with the marker pen. It is not recommended to cut it out with scissors only. It looks fine to me. By the way, I didn't know yet at this point that the case lid actually disturbs the cooling fan. I would have to take it away. Again, it is not recommended to use the scissors. Well, the cutter knife neither. It is time to use the hot knife. For fixing the board to the case, I use the long bolts and nuts to set the spacing. I repeatedly made holes to the power and HDMI connectors. Then I remove the lid. Oops! The inner case is a bit bigger to fit inside this standing case. I trimmed the inner case a bit. It fits well but it doesn't sit inside stably. The bolts are too long. They stick out too much. Anyway I checked the usability with this mobile battery and replaced the micro HDMI conversion.
The monitor is mounted on this tablet holder that was also sold in a dollar shop. Next it is time to install the HQ camera. Likewise the Raspberry Pi version 4. I like to use the camera through HDMI extension. But the camera interface on the board for version 5 is in the smaller pitch. So this flat cable conversion is needed. Let's check the HQ camera. HDMI cable extensions are connected at both ends. I use the command line live view operation. The screen capture is shown on the left side. Ok, it works fine. In order for this HDMI extension connector board to fit inside the standing case. With the Raspberry Pi 5 board together. This audio socket is just an obstacle. So I took it away. Only the heat from the soldering iron was not sufficient. I put excess solder on the pads to heat them up better. Next thing I did was to make another inner case. Because the plastic inner case actually holds the heat too much. The Raspberry Pi 5 generates quite a large amount of heat on both sides. The top side is fine with the cooling fan unit. But the heat on the bottom side stays there. So I made an aluminum chase for it with the plate with the thickness of 0.5 mm. It is craftable with a cutter knife. Making the mounting holes before I bend the chase. Handrail can do those for bolts. Making the rectangle holes is a bit tricky. I learned this method from some videos on YouTube. It is good that I can find how other people do better on YouTube. The edges are half cut by the cutter knife. Making small holes at the corners with a hand drill. A bigger hole for putting a handy scroll saw through. Then the plate is clamped together with the wooden planks. Removing the rectangle piece at a corner is easy. Just cutting a line to the inner corner would do. I would recommend you wear gloves for this kind of crafting. I forgot it at this point. It is sort of bothersome to put the thin saw blade into the hole. Anyway I cut four lines. Looks okay to me. Well I better wear blade proof gloves. I removed the triangle pieces one by one. The edges were too sharp so I filed them to make them dull. It is time for bending the chase. I mark the bending line. Oh, no, I made a mistake, but it's fixable. I put the mounting bolts. This time I put them through from the chase side. Alright then, this aluminum chase is good enough to keep the Raspberry Pi 5 cooler.
It's time to mount the HDMI extension board. I tried different ways but this hot glue works best. The inner case is completed. The flat cable is too long so it is rolled to make it smaller. It fits inside the standing case perfectly. Yes it is perfect. The air intake of the cooling fan works with this standing case. And the heat sink fins are oriented vertically so the hot air moves upwards smoothly. Then I checked my Python program to run on version 5. But it says there are some errors. Looks like a command not found error occurs. Raspastil is not found? I learned that the commands are obsolete and the lib camera module works better for version 5. I will have to reconfigure the command line options in my Python program. Or I might utilize the new module inside Python threading. Instead of calling the command as a subprocess. Either way. I need more time to make my program run. It is a long video already. So that is it for this time. I will continue working. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.